Hello everybody, Roberto here. Welcome to Guitar Avenues. I have been using the Positive Grid Spark Amplifier for several months now and I have been enjoying it quite a lot. I can use several amps and pedals in order to get the sound uh, need for different genres and uh, situations. I can also record directly to my computer using the USB out. I have already made a video using this amp to get uh, different interesting sounds out of an acoustic guitar and you will find a link at the end and in the description below. I play quite a bit of jazz music and in this video I will try to find different jazz tones to suit different occasions. I need one for playing chord melody arrangements, another one for comping and also another one for soloing. I will be playing freely as our sound engineer will tweak the spark until I get the sounds that I'm after. Do not forget to subscribe to Guitar Avenues for tutorials, uh, music theory and sound gear and nearly anything that you want to know. We will start looking for the three different tones from some amps already available in the Spark app. For the tone to be used for clean jazz chord melody, we start from this wooden bridge tone, based on this tweed bass amp. It has a very sparkly and lively top end, so if you prefer something a bit darker with a quieter top end, you can also use the second tone the one we will be using for comping, as a good alternative for chord melody. This wooden bridge tone is a bit bluesy, probably with too much gain. Let's see how it sounds out of the box and then we will do some tweaking. <laughs> Let's try to adjust the amp settings first, we'll take care of the pedals later. There is indeed too much gain, so we bring it down a good deal. We add a bit more bass and reduce the middle. Let's see. <laughs> The top end is nice and sparkly, but it might get a bit too hot when the strings are hit hard. So I add the compressor with a good amount of sensitivity to control the top end. The sound is still a bit too crunchy, so I get rid of the drive pedal. The delay could be useful, but let's try how things work without it. We certainly need to reduce the reverb. For recording directly to the computer, I often find that the plate short works very well. Finally, we go back to the amp to reduce the gain even more. <laughs> Thank you. 
we start our search for a comping tone with this patch called Cozy Serenade. It is based on an acoustic guitar amp, but it gives a nice, well-controlled sound that does not intrude on the singer on other instruments soloing. Let's try it as it is. It is a bit too dark, so let's adjust the setting of the amp. We certainly want more travel. We lower the gain a bit. And reduce the middle. Now we can increase the value of the compressor sustainer for more control over the strumming. When comping I prefer to lower the sustain. We can also further shift the tone very slightly towards the high registers. Classic plate is another useful reverb. When comping the amount of reverb may vary quite a bit according to the type of tune. In this following case of relatively fast comping, I prefer to keep it quiet. For the next tune, uh, slow and atmospheric, and higher amount of reverb can be added. Note that this setting works very well in core melody, as a darker alternative to the more sparkly one we used before. Give it a try. For soloing, let's start with this setup based on this lax verb. The amp is very bassy, and the patch seems to be a bit too crunchy. But let's see how it sounds out of the box. Certainly too much gain. So let's reduce the amount of drive on the pedal. And also the gain in the amp. Let's reduce as well the intensity of the analog delay. In the amp, we lower the bass even more and add some top end. 
For a verb, I prefer the plate short, with a value rather subtle. <laughs> The effect of the compressor is too strong. We should do better with the sustainer. With a lower compression level, we increase the sustain a bit. We also shift the tone a bit towards the high for a bit more of top end. Mm -hmm. 